for this example, f of u equals u square over u square minus 9. We treat this as a quotient where the numerator is a high, which is u square, the denominator as a low, or u square minus 9. To find the first derivative, we are going to use the quotient rule, quotient rule which is low d high minus high d low, draw the line, low square. On the side notes, the high is u square, and the low is u square minus 9. The d high is 2u, and d low is also 2u. By using the quotient rule, the low is the quantity u square minus 9 multiplied by d high, which is 2u, minus the high u square multiplied by the d low, which is 2u, all divided by the low square, which is the quantity of u square minus 9 square. So we're going to simplify the numerator. We see the common factor 2u, which is factor it out. For our convenience, then we have u square minus 9 minus u square divided by the quantity u square minus 9 squared. U square minus u square cancel out. Therefore, we have negative 18 times u over the quantity u square minus 9 squared as the first derivative of this function. Next, we simplify the second derivative. For the second derivative, which is the derivative of the first derivative or the derivative of the quantity negative 18u, divided by the quantity u square minus 9 squared. We treat this as the quotient form. So we use the quotient rule. High over low. So the high in this case is negative 18u. The low is the quantity u square minus 9 squared. The d high is negative 18. The d low, we're going to use the general power rule as the inside or the inner function u square minus 9, and the power is 2. It is from the formula, the, the n times the quantity g to the power n minus 1 and times d prime. In this case, the g is u square, u square minus 9, and the n is 2. Then, <clears throat> excuse me. So we have the d low as n, which is 2, quantity u square minus 9 to the power 1 times the g prime, which is 2u, and simplify to be 4 times u times u square minus 9. That's the d low. And bring it into the part of the f double prime. And flow d high minus high d low, draw the line low square. So the low for the second derivative is going to be the quantity u square minus 9 quantity square times d high, which is negative 18, minus the high, which is negative 18u times d low. We obtain 4 times u times u square minus 9 all divided by the low square, the quantity low, which is u square minus 9 squared and square on top of it. Next, we're going to simplify the numerator. We have the common factor, negative 18, negative 18, and also the common factor, 1 of the u square minus 9. We're going to factor out the common factor u square minus 9 of the power 1 and negative 18 from both terms, the front and the back. For the front term, the power of u square minus 1 will be down to u square, sorry, u square minus 9, just u square minus 9 power 1. And then the second part, same negative 18 already pulled out. So we have negative u times 4u for the second part, the remaining of the second part. And the bottom, which is u squared minus 9, power 2 of the power 2, going to be power 4. 
next we're gonna simplify this with the power one and of the u square minus nine and u square minus nine power two as u square minus nine power one. So we can reduce this and power become power three. So u square minus nine power three, negative 18 as a common factor in the front and then u square minus nine minus four u square. Simplify a little bit more to be negative 18 in the bracket can be negative nine minus three u square all divided by u square minus nine power three. We can either put a negative sign out and also three that becomes 18 times three, which is 54 in the positive. And then three goes to nine three times, so it can be three and then plus u square as the simplified form of the numerator divided by u squared minus nine power three. Now we derive the second derivative of this function.